Hi there, my name is Max and I'm from Assignment Experts channel. Today we will solve another example on how to use Bernoulli formula. Records from a toy factory show us that among 100 newly produced toys, 20 are defected and 80 are normal. A quality control test takes 10 toys. What is the probability that 5 or more of them are defected? Here we will use Bernoulli formula, and here's the formula. We already know it. <clears throat> Let's denote that success in our case is getting a defective toy, and failure is getting a normal toy. We take this just for convenience. <clears throat> so first we need to find the probability that a toy is defected. Due to classical definition of probability, the probability of any event is the number of outcomes when this event occurs, over the total number of outcomes. So here we have 20 defected toys among 100 of total. So this probability equals 0 0.2. As there are only two possible outcomes of a test, the toy can be either defected or normal, then the probability of failure, which is getting a normal toy, is 1 minus p and equals 0 0.8. We take 10 toys, so the total number of trials, n, equals 10. And as we need to find the probability that there are 5 or more defected toys, and success is getting a defected toy, then k, in our case, equals 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. And we must consider all of these cases. So, let's use the Bernoulli formula. First, for the case when k is 5. Probability of 5 successes out of 10 trials equals 10 factorial over 5 factorial times 10 minus 5, which is also 5 factorial, times the probability of success, which is 0 0.2, raised to the power of 5, times the probability of failure, 0 0.8, raised to the power of 10 minus 5, which is also 5. And this gives us approximately 0 0.026424152. Okay, here's our first probability. Now the second case. Probability of 6 out of 10 equals 10 factorial over 6 factorial times 10 minus 6 factorial, which is 4 factorial, times 0 0.2 raised to the 6th power times 0 0.8 raised to the power of 10 minus 6, which is 4. And here we get approximately 0 0.0055050524. Now the case when k is 7. The probability of 7 out of 10 equals 10 factorial over 7 factorial times 10 minus 7, which is 3 factorial times 0 0.2 raised to the 7th power times 0 0.8 raised to the power of 10 minus 7 so we have cubed here and this is approximately 0 0 0.0078643 now the case when k is 8. Probability of 8 successes out of 10 trials. It is equal to 10 factorial over 8 factorial times 10 minus 8, which is 2 factorial, times 0 0.2 raised to the 8th power times 0 0.8 raised to the power of 10 minus 8, so 0 0.8 squared. And this is approximately 0 
three, seven, two, eight. Now to our left. The probability of nine out of ten equals ten factorial over nine factorial times ten minus nine, which is one factorial, times zero point two raised to the ninth power times zero point eight raised to the power of ten minus nine. So we have the first power here. Now this is approximately 0 0.0000004096. And now the last case, when k is 10. Probability of 10 successes out of 10 trials equals 10 factorial over 10 factorial times 10 minus 10 factorial, which is 0 factorial. Recall that 0 factorial equals 1. Then we have times 0 0.2 raised to the 10th power, times 0 0.8 raised to the power of 10 minus 10, which is 0. And here we obtain approximately 0 0.000 zero 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 ten twenty four so here we found six probabilities and that's all we need to find the probability that we're searching for the probability that there are five or more defective toys among ten now we just need to sum them up so let's do this Probability of five or more defective toys among ten equals zero point zero three two seven nine three four nine seven six. So here is our answer. The probability that among 10 toys picked, 5 or more are defected equals this expression. Thanks for watching us. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos. See you soon.